So let's use a particular scenario right now. I'm going to write the question and then we try to uh, solve it together. So just give me about one or two minutes to write the question. While I write the question, begin to think about it. Okay, can somebody read this, please? Read out loud. Hello? At a point, at a point 200 feet from the base of a building, the angle of elevation to the bottom of a smokestack, that's what it says, smokestack? Yes, yes, correct. It's 35 degrees where the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 55 degrees. Find the height, find the height H of the smokestack alone. Alone, okay. All right, so I believe the smokestack is uh, something that they, they, they mount on top of the building so that it can draw some of the smoke uh, from the kitchen outside the building. Is that correct? That's what smoke, uh, smokestack is. So in this case, um, they describe their building. So just sketch a building, sketch a building. All right. So this is the building. And uh, did they give you the, the, the height of the building itself? Look at the question again. Is there any height of the building? No. No. So then you create your own height. You can call it, um, uh, you can call it big H or you can call it any other variable. You may use maybe uh, even A. So you can use height. What do you want? I, I, you may use X. So use X as the height of the main building. And then they built a smokestack on top of it. So this might probably be the smokestack. And that one, they gave you a variable to use, which is H. And then what else did they say? They say that the angle of elevation to the top of the building, hold on, he said, okay. At a point 200 feet from the base of the building. So now go 200 feet, this place, 200, right? It also says the angle of elevation to the top of the smokestack is, um, hold on, hold on, I hope. I hope I got the question. Okay, so this angle from here to here is 35. On the other hand, if you want to look at the top, that one is 55, okay? So now they are looking for the height of the smokestack, which is this one from here to here. That's what they are looking for. And this is where the observation is taking place. This is where the observer is trying to look at the top of the building and then the smokestack on top of it. So now when you look at this now, how many right triangles can you see? Three. Uh, three right triangles. I didn't say how many uh, uh, triangles, right triangles. Well, one for just the building and then one with the smokestack. And then if you look at it combined, that's another one. Okay, good. So that's two now, that's two. So one of the triangle can be drawn as this which is um, X and 35 degree. Then another drawing can be drawn like this, which is um, X plus H, and then this is uh, 55 degree. And both of them is 200 feet. Both of them is 200 feet. And of course, this is a right triangle. This is a right triangle, okay? So now, because, now that you have a right triangle, what, what is it? Um, what comes to your mind on the trig identity that uh, trig ratio that you may use to analyze it or solve it? For every right triangle, think about what? For every right triangle, think about Sokatua. Also, think about Pythagorean theorem. The reason why we cannot use Pythagorean theorem here is because complete the sentence. Hello, guys. Oh, we only have one side. We only have one side, so we need at least two given sides to be able to use Pythagorean theorem. So now, because we only have one side, that's correct. So we cannot use Pythagorean theorem. So uh, we have to use a trig ratio. So in this case, um, what is the trig ratio that can be used in your look at your circuit tour? Uh, let's start with the first one. The first one is this one. This is first triangle. This is the second triangle. Yes, I'm listening. So Katua, what does it say? What's your sign? Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, we have opposite. Do we have a hypotenuse? No. Okay, so will it work? No. Okay, it will not work because we don't have hypotenuse. 
How about uh, cosine? Cosine is adjacent to the hypotenuse. So do we have adjacent? Uh, yeah. we, yes, we do have an adjacent. We do, we do, we do, we do my bad. Yeah, we do. Uh, that's the 200. Because if you're looking at this triangle, I, I hope everybody uh, can see my mouse. This X is the opposite. Opposite is always the side that is facing the uh, given angle. So this also this is also opposite, the one I'm going up and down. So sine will not work, cosine will not work. How about tangent? So we have tangent will work because we have X, we have 200, we have um, adjacent. So we can say that tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So that tangent of 35 will give us x over 200 right so how do we get x cross multiply yes yeah, so do that very quickly do that very quickly use your calculator so we have 200 multiplied by tangent of um 35 and that gives us the value of x let's do that very quickly punching the number into your calculator use your cell phone calculator ladies and gentlemen so what does that give you 244. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, on which part are we on? So you're doing 200 multiplied by tangent of 35. That's what you're punching in. Oh, 140. Okay, so 140, that should be about 140 feet. And that's equal to X. All right. So now, remember the question says find the height of the smoke screen, not the height of X. But yeah, that's going to help you when you come here, right here. So let's go to triangle, let's go to triangle two. Triangle two says um, the same tangent too. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that tangent of 55 is equal to um, X plus H divided by 200, okay? So we just repeat the same process by doing the cross multiply. And uh, that should give us what? 200 multiplied by tangent of 55 is equal to X. If you like, you can do the substitution now. X is 140 plus H. All right? So evaluate the left side. Let's see. Use your calculator. Yeah, so what does that give you? 200 multiplied by tangent of 55. I'm going to call names now. Um, Carlos, go ahead. What what does two hundred multiply by um, times fifty five give you? Use your calculator. Yeah, Bianca, go ahead and as well. Press your calculator and let's have the result. Whatever it gives you, tell us. Rae Santiago, the same thing. Uh, Cynthia, the same thing. Terrell, the same thing. Leslie, I'm waiting. Okay, who got it? Who got it? The left side. I got two eighty five. 285. Who else got 285? I got the answer. Okay, so why didn't you say it? You need to say it fast. We need to move on, ladies and gentlemen. So 285 on the left side and 140 plus H on the right side. So they're asking us for H, right? So what was the our next step? Subtract 140. Both sides. From both sides. So you do minus 140 and then minus 140. This crosses out and you're left with H here. And then when you do this one, you are going to get about um, 145. So the height of the smokestack is 145. Okay. Does it make a little sense, ladies and gentlemen? So these are the type of uh, things that um, there are more, uh, there are some other more sophisticated examples but this is the kind of thing you should be looking at when you are talking about application of um, trigonometric ratio